What's going on guys? This is Gibbs and I'm back with another fancy PowerPoint presentation for you guys. We're talking about an interesting topic of conversation today that has been going on this past week or so. Rocket League match format and when is it suitable to do best of threes, best of fives, best of seven, best of nines. And we're going to do the math to find out when it is best or what is the best way to go about it. Now there's a lot of different... Topics of conversation, a lot of pros were upset this past weekend. The Hyper Cup tournament had best of threes going into an eight-team playoff bracket. And then it went to best of fives. And DreamHack day one is going to be best of threes. Day two will be best of fives into a playoff that is best of fives, then best of seven. So what is the best option? Now, obviously, if you want the best winner, you should go as long as possible, obviously. You know, you go all the way to best of 21 why not because if you want the very very best that's how you would have to get it but we're gonna go over the math here between all of these and it gets a little interesting throughout uh first question to you guys is like what do you think is like the percentage just like off the top of your head of like comebacks in best of fives so before we go any further if you want to try and guess on your own but basically whenever a team is up two games doesn't matter if they're 2-0 or 2-1 what is the comeback percentage from the other teams and is that along the way of the lines of the coin flip of like, if we did coin flips, would that work out as well? Now, keep in mind, if they didn't come back, then we wasted all that time. So even if they tie 2-2 and then eventually lose when they were down 2-0, it would have been the same exact result as a best of three. I'm not saying that's necessarily a waste of time, but I'm just saying that we could have got the same exact result from a best of three. Same can go, I'll be said for best of sevens and so on and so forth down the line. So let's get into this a little bit. First, let's talk about the math of the coin flip. Uh, you would think these games mostly, even teams. Now, I'm talking about ROCS caliber teams. And we'll talk about the comeback potential. In a best of three, there is a 25% chance to come back. If you're down 1-0, you have to win two coin flips to win the series. And that's a 25% chance or a one-fourth chance. Because you have to get two heads right or two tails right. Next up. In a best of five, you have an 18.75% chance to come back. You have a 12.5% chance if you're down 0-2 and a 25% chance if you're down 1-2. Now, those are actually equal in terms of what could happen. So, you just take the average in, in the middle and you get 18.75%. Now, it gets a little bit more complicated as we get into it with best of sevens. They get a little bit more complicated. It, there's a 15.63% now. That's a big or a small jump, I should say, from a best of five. Best of threes, you have a 25% chance to come back, but then it's a 7% decrease in a best of fives, but then only a 3% decrease. I'm sorry, not even 7%. It's like 6% uh, decrease there. Then you only have a 3% chance decrease for best of sevens, and then even lower in best of nines, it's only a 2% chance that you're increasing in the chances of trying to get the correct winner in these games. So... Let's go to the best of five. 12.5% chance if you're down 0-2. And that can only happen... Like, that can happen 50% of the time in coin flips. 25% chance... Oh, I'm sorry. The weird did that one. I'm talking about best of seven. 6.25% 0-3. Sorry. It's a lot of numbers to go through. 6.25% when you're down 0-3. That's a 25% chance. 12.5% chance at 1 to 3. That has a 35.5% chance of happening. And then a 25% chance to come back when you're down 2-3. That also has a 37.5% chance of happening. All of that equals up into 15.63% chance of making a comeback if you are down 3 games to whatever. Like, basically the winning condition for a best of 5... There's only a 15% chance that the other team will win that in a coin flip situation. Best of nine, again, even smaller. Say it was a best of seven. Then there's only a 13% chance that that result would change if it went to a best of nine. Uh, so keep that in mind as we go forward. So, again, to argue for the best of five, instead of a best of three, eight. so in 100 games, 18 or 19 of those games will have a different result than in a best of three compared to a best of five so on and so forth but the problem is like how what's that magic number like what is the number you want to reach in order to get the best winner obviously you have to worry about time management you have to worry about viewer fatigue player fatigue and all of that and just length of tournament so it's a little bit of a tough question to answer but we'll move on 
into the actual math that I did. Now, let's go over the best of five comeback percentage. Now, these numbers are taken from ROCS Season 2 through Season 4. It excludes the first season of OCE, which was Season number 3, because I was looking on Team Liquid's site and the Liquipedia, and for some reason they didn't include individual game results there for the for all the weeks in OC. So we just ex I'm excluding that. So 250 matches were played. Now NA 20% of the time they came back and won when they were down either 2-0 or 2-1. Europe 24.72% of the time and OCE 16.13% of the time. Now this like actually looks extremely correct to me because you would think Europe is the more challenging region where all the teams are extremely close in skill. NA is probably that next region up. And then OCE uh, is that region where you see a little bit more blowouts here or there. Now, keep in mind that these numbers include 3-0s, 3-1s. It's not only if it goes to like five games or something like that. So keep that in mind. Now, in the league or playoffs, which is basically mostly all online, OCE did have some land play with best of fives, but we're putting them in the same category here. So... Basically, these are online games for the most part. 21.53% of the time, there will be a comeback across all regions. The interesting stat is the World Championship, there has not been a lot of comebacks, which is very surprising. It's only been 9.76%. And remember, the coin flip, where anyone can win any game, 18.75%. So the grand total is 19.6%. It's very close to that coin flip number. So the coin flip does have some kind of stake in this where a lot of these teams are very close in skill where like anyone can win. So pretty close numbers. I'm just surprised the World Championship is so low that we don't see more comebacks. Uh, maybe that pressure that gets to you when you're down, something like that. Who knows? Uh, so, let, so pretty close numbers. 19.6 compared to what would normally be an 18.75. So again... Roughly 19 or 20 games out of 100 or 19 or 20 series out of 100 will have a different result in a best of five rather than a best of three. Moving on. Now, of course, like, I don't have numbers for best of threes because there isn't that much to go off of. But best of three comebacks, you know, you would expect it to be kind of around the coin flip as like around that 25% mark. So instead of playing a best of one or something like that, but we don't have those numbers. So... Moving on. So numbers taken from ROCS again, season two through four, except for OC in season three. We had 46 matches of a best of seven. North America, 12.5% of the time there was a comeback. In Europe, there was 25% chance for a best of seven comeback. And OC, 0%. They, it never happened in OCE. Uh, league and playoffs, 17.14%. So again, mostly online games. And then the World Championship, again, much lower number 9.09 percent of course there's not a lot of games to go off of here so this so these stats are going to be a little bit more off you would say in general but surprisingly the grand total 15.22 percent extremely close to the coin flip number of 15.63 so this one's actually a lower chance to make a comeback in a best of seven just slightly on their coin flip versus of course, the best of five comeback where it was actually a higher chance to make a comeback. So if you compare these versus best of fives versus best of sevens, you see best of fives, you have a 4% chance, 4.4% chance better to make a comeback than in a best of seven. And then a best of seven, of course, yeah, you're down to 15.22. So in 15 series out of 100, you will have a different result from a best of five to a best of seven. And now this is where my argument comes in, like, what is that magic number? In best of threes, people are saying it's a joke and they should not even mean it. A lot of pros have said that. But still, in 19 or 20 series out of 100, or I should say 80 of the 100 series, a best of three is all you need. So 80 of the 100 series in a best of three is all you need. And then, again, moving forward to a best of seven, 85 series of a best of five out of 100 are correct as well. So like, if you're going to argue that best of threes are a joke, well, then what's stopping you from saying, hey, I want that extra 4%. I want those four more series in a best of seven. Because the best of three, if you go by the numbers, would only be 5% higher if it was a coin flip situation where you get it correct 75% of the time versus um, 
the 25% of a best of one. And then, you, you know, you, you just keep going down the line. So that's the interesting part is that a lot of people are complaining, but 80 out of the 100 series are going to be correct. Uh, now, obviously, you want this number to be as low as possible, but it doesn't get much lower after this in a best of seven and so forth. So it's tough. It's tough. So obviously, like this one's close. We don't have enough numbers for the best of nine, which we talked about all the way over here. Best of nine, 13.67%. So it should only drop about 2% of the time. So it's like, yeah, it's kind of diminishing returns here of the longer you go, the more it's not going to really affect you that much. But now let's talk about something else. Um, let's talk about the momentum in series, because why not? Because uh, uh, this will be fun to talk about. So now, when a series goes the distance, the previous game winner, with a coin flip, has only a 50% chance to complete the comeback. But everyone knows there's some momentum, or we think there's some momentum in Rocket League. So does momentum actually favor the team that previously won? So it'll skew that 50% off. And uh, so I did the math on this as well. Again, uh, taken from the same RLCS Season 2 through Season 4, exclude an OC Season 3. And here's what we get. Best of five series that went five games. It was 90 out of 250, so 36% of the time. If it was coin flips, this would happen 37.5% of the time. So again, extremely close to the coin flip number. So pretty accurate based on just going for coin, uh, coin flips. NA, we had 54.55%. I forgot to put, put the little percent thing, so people will call that out as a typo. EU, 62.86%. OCE had 62.5%. So this is the teams that came back and won these series. So again, we see Europe leading the way. More competitive region, but now it's coming down to like... Their number should be probably skewed a little bit lower because it should be more of a coin flip to see who wins that last game. Uh, OCE is relatively high. When that makes a little bit more sense that like the comeback potential, well, it's tough because either way, like the team going to five games is going to, you know, it, it like th it's going to be a fairly even game no matter what region you're in at that point. And then NA, 54%. Uh, so it seems like NA just doesn't ride the momentum as well. But again, they're all over 50%. Now we go into the league play and playoffs. Again, mostly online games, 59.21%. So relatively high number there. 10% higher than the coin flip, but the world championship momentum is not playing a factor, which is extremely surprising. You would think at, like out of anything at a world championship where the crowd's going to be behind teams or just the momentum of like, all right, we got this. We have a chance. We just tied the series. We're going into the final game. You would think that team would win relatively more than just online because there's not as much momentum going online in a way because there's not a crowd behind you and stuff like that, but only 28.57% of the time at the World Championships, when someone ties the series at 2-2, they get the win. So most of the time, it's the team that was leading the series, who had two games before that, will go on and win the series there. Grand total, 54.44%, just slightly over the coin flip. But this does show, like, that's a, that's a decent number there. Um, but again, low stats for it. Only 90 matches that we could talk about here, but... 54% chance that the momentum, you actually ride it into a victory. Surprisingly, World Championship's a little bit lower. Next up, best of seven series that won seven games. Of course, even smaller numbers. Now, these numbers are going to be really skewed. So, 12 out of 46. That's 26% of the time we go to seven games. Coin flip will give you a 31.25% chance. So, much lower than the coin flip number. NA, 66.67% of the time. Two out of three. They go on to win the series if they come back to tie at 3-3. Europe, an 80%, a whopping 80% of the time, they come back to win it. And then OCE, they never had a seven-game series. So, there's no comebacks. You, you can't. Or there's no there's there's no seven-game series where the comeback had a... Ch I'm sorry, yeah, that went seven games. There, there was just absolutely not. Now, League... And playoffs online, again, 75% of the time when a team ties it up at 3-3, they go on to win the series. And it doesn't matter if they started at 3-0 or 0-3, I should say, and came all the way back, or if it was just a 3-2. But 75% of the times, three out of every four series, when the team wins game number six, they go on to win game number seven. The World Championship, though, again, where the momentum should be playing a bigger factor, only one out of four times... The comeback is actually achieved when it goes to seven games. Of course, there's a lot less games for that. 
there was what? I believe uh, four full series. So it only happened once. Online, there was eight full series and there were six comebacks across all the regions. So there you have it again, though. The momentum, 58.33%, much higher than the coin flip of 50%. So the momentum, teams are riding it, just not at the live environment. So I want to see how that plays in factor in the dream hack. Uh, but again, we're going to go in conclusion here. The longer the series go, the better result you will get, but with diminishing returns. And I was actually going to add more to the side, but I didn't. But where do we stop? Where is that? A stopping point again we go back to the best of fives and the comeback percentage is only 19.6 percent so one out of every five series you'll have a different result is that enough is that too little who knows then here we have 15 percent for a best of seven that is what one out of every 6.5 series or so if i'm doing my math correct um is that enough or should we go further? The thing is, it's so hard because there's so little time sometimes to play in these. And um, my next conversation is going to be about what's your ideal match format going into a tournament. We have DreamHack coming up again. We're talking about best of threes here. I'm not going to talk too much about best of threes versus best of fives in that video. I wanted this to be a separate video. I just wanted to do the math. There's no conclusive answer to any of this of is it better? Like is best of five that sweet spot or is best of seven? Personally, if I had to do it, I, I think best of five is probably that right mix of excitement versus like the ability to lose. Personally, I do like single elimination playoffs, but we'll get more into that when we go into the format discussion. Best of sevens can also work for single limbs. That makes sense, like towards the end, towards the playoffs, but... There you have it, guys. Those are the numbers, the cold, hard facts. Obviously, there's a lot more data to go off of based on other series and all stuff, but I wanted to get the cream of the crop when they're playing each other. What are the comeback percentages? Because this is going to be where the games are most tightly contested. Now, again, going into DreamHack, the first day, we're doing best of threes. There's going to be a lot of separation, though, in seeds in these groups. It's going to be like seed one versus a seed 16 in the upper final in a group. So... Sure, the comeback potential is there for, say, a 16 seed, it, it, like if it was a best of five or like the one seed would, would have a better chance, obviously, like at the comeback in a best of five. But the one seed should win two games before the 16 seed anyway. So it's going to be stuff like that. It's going to be interesting to see how it all plays out. But that'll do it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. We did the math. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any other more math tips or anything feel free to throw it in the comments let me know what you like best of threes best of fives best of sevens best of nines as a viewer as a tournament organizer whatever it doesn't matter but that'll do it i probably jumbled it up a little bit there in the middle but hey numbers you know numbers are tough thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time later